Hello and welcome to your weekend reading for the days beginning on Monday, the 1st of July 2019, ending on Friday, uh, July the 5th. So, uh, the sun is in Cancer, so we have mostly water energy present. That's the water bell. It's called Aqua. The moon is in Gemini. And it will be there until the 2nd of July, very early in the morning. It's going to change to Cancer. So we're going to have this water energy only. And as always, when it happens, the moon meets the sun. So we have the new moon, together with solar eclipse in Cancer. Here where I live, it's going to happen in the evening, 16 minutes past 9. And then... Two days later, on Thursday, the moon will move into Leo. So we have Ignis Bell incoming. She probably appeared, I love those bells. <laughs> so much joy. Okay, so that's the mood. As always with eclipses, the energy may be very strong, especially if you have uh, the signs, uh, the, the planets in your natal chart in a um, similar position to uh, how it will appear. Uh, during this uh, eclipse, it's very strong. The sun is on the ascendant. On the ascendant, we have lunar node and Pluto, and well, Saturn is nearer. And on the other side, we have sun and the moon. Okay. There's still very strong sextile between uh, Pluto, uh, Neptune, and yeah, Pluto and Neptune, and Saturn and Neptune. Especially Saturn and Neptune. Okay, so let's see what uh, what do the cards want us to know about the incoming week. Uh, this reading is going to be very intuitive. I'm going to pull out five cards now. Five cards for the week. <clears throat> of course, the aim is our greatest good. And this is for all signs of Zodiac. It's just about energy that may appear for us. Okay. What is the message for the next five days? More or less five days. What's the message for us? Okay. We have two of cups, which is Venus in Cancer. Ace of Pentacles, something new, like always in a new moon, and it may indicate, it may be connected with partnerships. We have Strength, the Major Arcana. We have Seven of Cups and Six of Swords. So we only have one major arcana, which tells about having our lust, our emotions, our drives in our hands. And it is up, for, up to us what do we do with them. 
Okay. Let's start from the very beginning. Two of Cups, as I said, it's about partnerships. It may be about love. It may be about seeing uh, yourself in the mirror of the other person. That's the main message here, always. And you want to touch this person. You want to understand the other. And by doing this, you also understand yourself. So there is this openness here to other and to the message they have for us. So it's a great time to meet someone, to meet someone new, to offer love, to, uh, to express your love, possibly in the form of gifts, the gift of time, not only the gift of money, but also the gift of resources, why not? Offering something that is palpable, long-lasting, precious. Offering love in that way will be very much promoted during uh, during this time. And that, that's the, the theme for the first two days. So I feel it's for Monday and Tuesday. So I'm going to ask, what's the best thing we can do with this positive energy we have here? What's the best thing we can do? What is recommended for us? Uh, what should we do? This is, of course, only a friendly note to selves, to ourselves. It's the best thing we can do for our greatest good during this, these two days. Yeah, be willing to enter new situations. Uh, be brave in it. Take risks, mostly. Uh, do not be afraid to enter a new endeavor. Dream big and follow your dreams. That's the fool. Uh, it's beautiful together with Ace of Pentacles. Something new and beautiful may happen. What is not recommended? What should we avoid? What not to follow? Hierophant. So, <laughs> this is uh, the card about structures, uh, very often very rigid structures. Um, all orders coming from above. It doesn't matter if it's about mm, man mundane uh, hierarchy, like corporation or church, or is it more about spiritual hierarchy? when you answer to the call of someone you mm, perceive as bigger than you, wiser, uh, more important. Don't do that. Don't listen to others. Don't listen to uh, the, the institutions or people mm, that... that you perceive as authority, okay? Don't listen to authorities. Be your own guide. Be your own higher wisdom. And, yeah, do not stick to old structures, old things, things established. This is the Taurus card. So Taurus is very much about what is already on this earth. Now you are offered a new opportunity to add something to this so it won't come from things that are old and established it will come out of the blue out of the mysterious notion of the fool okay and now for 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 the rest of the week uh, i feel there's a slight shift in energy that requires your strength um as i said strength is about integrating your inner animal that is very strong that may help you in everyday endeavors you are together with this animal here on this picture mm, bonded by this um, wreath of roses so the passion brings you you two together 
and you regulate how much do you want to show to the world of that pure primal energy of yours so it's about mastering your passion mastering your raw strength okay it may indicate that the situation that is coming requires strength requires some kind of control and also being right in in a pre, in a, in a very precise moment and time because aids are about space time and being in a very specific place of the space time and using it in a very specific way so it is important i feel to know where do we want to go we may have many opportunities and many dreams uh, each cup offers something that seems precious the dragon the snake victory something that is covered but very spiritual uh, jewels so things that are precious on a material level a person a possession so there are many things appearing here on this cloud but we don't have them yet you see this hand is empty and this person is standing in some kind of awe wondering what is that that i want to have there is danger here that if you if we uh, assume that you are the person here on the picture you may think if i see it it's already mine i can have it all that's not the case here not until you grab one or two of them remember you only have two hands and you need to make an effort to have it to have this emotional satisfaction that you crave for and that's why strength is important here you need to show to the world what do you what do you want which one of these or which two of these do you really want where uh, are you going to put your effort here towards which of these and when you do when you do the path appears you know where you're going and hence you know how to avoid mistakes how to pass through obstacles six of source is about passing through obstacles and finding a balance in your mind regarding the goal that you're heading to of course it's moving through choppy waters but to the calm waters and to the safe heaven okay so there is some effort here after this promising very promising new moon with a solar eclipse there's choice and effort needed after that so again i'm gonna ask what is recommended for these three days and what is not recommended what should we do what's good for us what serves our greatest good after the eclipse the empress bask yourself in wealth uh, in abundance in what you already have and be the blessing presence of the empress which mm, strengthens and supports everything that is alive everything that is vibrant everything that is beauty also probably this may be the position of choice this starting position that will enable you to choose in the best way choose what is abundant choose what supports life what's not recommended what should we avoid what's not good for us where not to go what not to follow a friendly reminder queen of cups so don't be too focused on your heart and on this understanding of love that is maternal um, 
unconditional love it is. It's not a good time to offer love under no conditions. Uh, I would also say that this asks you to look in a wider way than only at your heart. Don't let yourself be choosing only out of your heart position here in the Seven of Cups. <clears throat> it may be tempting. It may be that there are so, some emotional circumstances that push you into this. But if in the position of what is, uh, what's good for us, we have the Empress, which is the bigger card. It's a bigger card than Queen of Cups. That means that we can act out of the higher perspective than this. I'm emphasizing this because this is not a bad perspective. It's not what I'm trying to tell you. It's not bad. It's just not broad enough. Why widen your perspective? Not only emotional and, mm, I would say, full of sacrifice. You don't need to sacrifice anything. You are the Empress. You have it all. You can have it all if you let yourself see yourself in this way, that you're the impersonification of beauty and abundance. If you start out of this position, you will choose wisely and you will move through obstacles with no fear and no problem. Hmm? That's the message here. So see, see yourself as a grander presence. Don't underestimate yourself is also the message here. Be the creature you really are. We often underestimate our possibilities and our grandeurs. Is that the word? We are amazing, great creatures. We sometimes don't see it. We sometimes focus on our errors, mistakes, impossibilities. But if you see yourself through the eyes of loving universe, loving source, you will see yourself as the Empress, as the source wants you to see yourself. Okay? So be with this uh, beautiful abundant energy all week. And let yourself begin something here. Something that may sound or be <laughs> crazy. <gasps> but it's crazy in a good, loving and healthy way. Okay. Thank you very much for your time and attention. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, if you did, please give me a like. You can subscribe to my channel. I will do my best to do readings two times in a week. That's my goal now. All right. Thank you very much once more. Have a wonderful week. And until next reading. Bye-bye.